let's talk about direct inguinal hernia. Right. So direct inguinal hernia occurs through the Hesselbach's triangle, which is bounded by um, inferior epigastric artery laterally here, like uh, lateral border of the rectus abdominis medially here and inferiorly by the inguinal uh, ligament. Right. So the hernia is medial to the inferior epigastric artery right here this is the inferior epigastric artery so it's medial is the hernia will come uh, through this position right the sac is thick and often the medial wall or content may be the bladder the Hasselbach's triangle is divided into medial and lateral and is divided by uh, this ligament, the medial umbilical ligament, which is a remnant or an obliterated umbilical artery. So, uh, according to this, uh, direct uh, inguinal hernias can be classified as medial or lateral, depending on which part of the Hesselbach's triangle is it rising from. Right, uh, these are some statistics. Right. So direct hernia occurs for about 10 to 15 percent of hernias. 50 percent of direct hernias occur bilaterally. 35 percent of inguinal hernias are direct. It is uncommon in females and in children. So it's more common in elderly. It is always acquired due to weakening of the posterior wall of the inguinal canal, right? So direct inguinal hernias are acquired hernias, right? So uh, the coverings of the uh, direct hernia from outside, extra peritoneal tissue, uh, fascia transversalis, conjoint tendon, external spermatic fascia, and the skin. And the predisposing factors include chronic cough, smoking, straining, benign prostatic hyperplasia, constipation, heavy weight, uh, previous appendectomy. A direct uh, hernia usually appears as a diffuse bulge that cannot be controlled by pressure over the internal ring. It is above and lateral to the pubic tubercle. Malgenia bulgings are often seen in these patients on examination more often than in indirect hernias. They are protrusions of abdominal wall muscles during leg raising test as weak, soft, supple swellings which signifies poor abdominal muscle tone. Direct hernia uh, rarely descend to the scrotum and strangulation is not common as compared to indirect hernia. But in long-standing cases, it can descend down to the scrotum and strangulation can occur. Right, so uh, this is just uh, another presentation. Right, so you can see medial to the inferior epigastric artery. You can see the hernia, right, so it comes through this part. Okay, I have another video uh, showing the differences between direct and indirect inguinal hernia.